Hey guys, uh, welcome back for another video. In this video, we are going to uh, see what is the decompiling process and how we can decompile an APK and what are the decompilers uh, are in the market and what is the best one out of that, right? Just an overview of this concept. Deep of these concepts will be covered in the next module. So coming to the first point, the what is decompiling? The process of converting the machine level language or assembly level language into I level language or a Sura source code. So it means that whenever you compile a code, right, uh, like Android code, it will be converted into DEX classes. As we saw in the earlier uh, videos, when we unpacked the APK, we saw the DEX file, right? DEX file. So that is only a machine understandable or a bind code. We can, we even if we, uh, you know, extract the DEX or uh, unzip the uh, like DEX into further thing, we can't read that because it is it, it, like it is not a human and uh, understandable language. So to make it convenient, to make it to understand for a human or I love a language, we use a decompilers uh, to convert it uh, so that we can read the code and we can do whatever the uh, you know, uh, reverse engineering process we want or a source code review or we want, right? So there are a lot of tools uh, available in a market to perform that, right? Uh, so such tools, you know, uh, uh, are a computer program which helps to convert that machine level uh, or, uh, you know, assembly level language to pseudo code, source code, or human readable format are called as a decompilers, right? There are many standard decompilers, as I said earlier, but the commonly used are JADAX, GUI, JEB, and GDA, right? I have, uh, you know, uh, this is the JEB decompiler. It looks like this, so where you can, uh, you know, go to the open and uh, you, you can you can import any APK <laughs> coming to here. You have uh, this is a APK, right? So you can you can come and you can load the APK. So you can see here. Now uh, it will decompile and it will show all the uh, APK files, like you know, in a in a human readable format. And another uh, uh, like let it decompile. Another important thing is like JADAX. So like we'll explain all the terminologies in the JADAX how to use all the feature. But here just I'm showing how. How can you read the, like, how can a decompiler decompile the code, right? Uh, so if we, just we have to load the file, that's it. You know, it, it gets loaded and it, and it will start to decompile. It is taking a little bit of time. Okay. I think JADAX will be much faster than this. I'm pretty sure. That is how, like, you know, and, and very important thing is uh, whatever that, uh, whenever you decompile a hundred APK, all the source code you're going to see, it will be in a Java format. Obviously, it has to be in a Java, right? Nothing to decompile. Uh, it is decompiling still. It will decompile every source code. Uh, yeah, here we can already see. Uh, we can already see here it is already uh, decompiled. Uh, here it is in a, like, byte core format or small format. So this is how there are uh, you know a lot of other decompilers also you know GDA uh, where we can convert a text to jar uh, you know all other things. So we're gonna see all those uh, things in upcoming uh, videos. Each and every one particularly all the tools and how to use the tools and how to do source code review using individual tools, right? So see you again uh, next module where we are going to talk about the actual. Uh, the main agenda of this course, right?